Our final story tonight is a twisted take on a children's classic. Winnie the Pooh, the honey-loving character inspired by the real-life bear named for Winnipeg, got a movie makeover, and there is nothing sweet about it. Here's John Vanavelli Rao. A truly beloved childhood character, Winnie the Pooh author A.A. A. Milne, would no doubt be horrified at the latest portrayal of his legendary creations with adorable Pooh and Piglet, now central figures in an R-rated slasher? My opinion on this Winnie the Pooh movie is I think it should not exist. You and I were once children. There's plenty of online outrage. We used to be friends. Why are you doing this, please? That a little-known director named Reese Waterfield has happily taken advantage of copyright expiration. It's been more than 95 years since the first Pooh adventure was penned and published. So in the U.S., it's now in the public domain, as it has been in Canada for some time. And that means that uh, people are free to make copies, make transformative works, derivative works, adaptations, um, anything they want to do, basically. It's uh, free for the taking. Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore... So with a budget of less than $100,000, Waterfield has turned Winnie the Pooh into a half-man, half-bear murderer. And there's been so much buzz about it, the film's opening on 1,500 screens around North America. I think a slasher movie with Winnie the Pooh on one hand is kind of a brilliant idea because it is something that we're going to talk about. It is something that gets a lot of publicity. The movie's already made a million dollars in Mexico, and some noting in the next decade or so, other hugely iconic characters. Of course, you know that this means wah? Including the original Bugs Bunny and Superman will also pass into the public domain. In America, the first take on Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Willie, will be fair for others to copy as of next year. People are already excited about what that means they can do with Steamboat Willie. Waterfield says he's received death threats, but has expressed an interest in making twisted versions of everything from Bambi to Peter Pan. And some can't bear to watch what he does next. John Donavelli Rao, CTV News, Toronto.